cutie welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome 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 back honeys welcome back Janina. and if you're new here thank you for joining us thank you for making the right decision and coming up through don't do because you know we got things to do <laughs> i am your host Kelly. so guys today this video is all about my tips on dyeing your hair and that is bleaching and dyeing because you know i had to bleach in dye you know bleach and a color to get this look this look honey on my hair <laughs> So, I'm going to start off. I don't know whether I'm saying this is like a do's and don'ts or like a tips and tricks. But, I mean, I heard tips and tricks because I call it tricks. There's only tips. <laughs> There's only tips. Sorry. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to know this. Shake your yar. Yar. Hey. So let me start. My voice is going. Um, it's going. So let me start off with like what not to do. And the first thing, I don't have a lot of what not to do because do it, you know. This is how we do it. Um this is important this first one i'm going to give you guys is a vv vvv important and it is do not and i repeat do not start with the roots do not start at the roots when bleaching your hair when dyeing it um whether you bleach and then add color or whether you add color straight, do not start with the roots. Start at the ends. Start where? At the bottom. Stitch and go up. Okay? Because your scalp has a lot of blood vessels, right? So it's hot there. Where there's blood, there's heat coming from it. So bleach is activated by what? By heat. So your your ends your your I mean your roots will bleach faster than your ends and then you'll get hot roots where your roots will be light 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 and your ends will be light <laughs> you know it'll be light um so so don't start with your roots that's the most that's the first tip that I, even if you forget everything else remember this remember this okay. And a second thing is bleach does not lather, okay? I did a lot of research, aka watching Brad Mondo videos. <laughs> um, and he, he will tell you bleach doesn't lather because it irritates the scalp a lot. So don't be going in like you're putting in shampoo when you're bleaching your hair because you're not putting in shampoo. This is a... Uh, hexy chemical okay so bleach doesn't lather do not lather bleach onto your scalp now let me move on to what to do what must i do Kawe? i'll let you know because <laughs> i'm having so much fun honestly i'm having so much fun so the first thing is research do your research and about the colors about like what like not necessarily what chemicals go into these things because i don't go that deep but just see what's out there like don't just go to one store and be like okay i'm gonna buy here go to another store maybe they have different colors they have a wider variety variety <laughs> they have a wider variety you know and um in terms of bleach, it's important to understand that you get the powder 
as well as the developer. And now, and a lot of like South Africa, Sada, doesn't really have a lot of like um, companies that will give you a developer and an, or they'll give you a developer and a powder, but they won't tell you the strength of the developer. So you have 10 volume, 20 volume, 30 volume and 40 volume. So your 30 and your 40 volume are the ones that you use to remove all the color from your hair. And that's what you want when you're bleaching your hair. You want to use a 30 volume developer or a 40 volume. Use a 30 volume, it's, it'll get the job done. You don't need to go to a 40 volume. So when you're going and you're buying your bleach, see if it tells you the strength of the, the developer because you don't want to buy a 10 volume developer because it's not going to, it's not going to do what you, you want it to do. So you want to get a 30 or 40 volume, preferably 30 volume, 30 volume developer. That's what you want, okay? And it also depends on what you're trying to get. So when I was talking about research, look at the color wheel, okay? So a lot, about, yeah, by hairdressing. Look at the color wheel and look at what colors cancel each other out. So colors that are opposite each other on a color wheel, I, I'll put the color wheel up. Colors that are opposite each other have neutralizing effects. So if you wanting to bleach your hair and you want to get like an ash blonde or like you want to go platinum, and your hair comes out and it's brassy, like in Niza, it has like tinges of yellow or orange. You can use a purple shampoo. And Sara, like I said, hair. Um, what you can do is is get shampoo, get a purple dye, and like a purple color dye, mix those together to make your own purple shampoo to cancel out those brassy yellows and oranges so that you can get that ash blonde that you want that light color so do your research see what what colors cancel each other out what colors complement each other if you want to maybe do like a split look and you know what so do do a lot of research and yeah another thing another do is when you're going to do your hair before you do it, do a strand test. I know, guys, a lot of hair dyes are like, do a strand test, do a strand test. But when you bleach your hair, actually do a strand test because it'll indicate how many rounds of bleach you actually have to do or for how long you have to keep the bleach in your hair for. Because our hair lightens at, you know, my hair might lighten faster than yours. So do that strand test. No matter, even if you comb your hair and you take the, the strands that were shedded off that comb, do your strand test, apply the bleach on that hair, leave it for the recommended amount of time and see how much color lifts from those strands because it'll give you an indication of what, you know, what your hair is going to look like. And this is what we need. You don't want to, you know. And your hair's not gonna lift, and here you are, you winner. You're gonna go bleach now. You must bleach three times. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, sectioning, guys. Section your hair nicely. Don't take too many sections. You know how relax I know it gives you those four sections. Do those four sections, but in those sections, section the four sections. Because if you take thick, like you see, you would you see my sections. These are good sections. Bleach here, bleach it, color it. You know, section it nicely because you want all the product, all the bleach to get through that hair. If you take big sections, the product isn't gonna penetrate through all the strands, and you don't want that. You don't want that. That's the mistake I made the first time, and you don't want that. Section your hair out really nicely. And it's always nice to have someone to help you. The second time, I got people to help me. The first time I bleached my hair, well, I, the first time I bleached my hair during the pandemic, because um, this isn't the first time I've, like, bleached and colored my hair. Um, I did it myself at, like, 3 a.m. in the morning, 
do not do that. Don't because you're bored and you're in crisis. Bleach your head there at 8 a.m. in the morning. Get someone to help you. Okay. Um, make sure my the next one is make sure that the bleach saturates the strands. Make sure that you you've got enough product. So buy as much product as you think you'll need. If you've got a lot of hair, don't buy one box of Hindo and then think you're gonna get the desired result because you're not, honey. You're not. Um, get enough product. Get enough bleach. Get enough color for your hair. Um, and when I say saturate, make sure that your hair is saturated with bleach because the bleach will dry out. It'll dry out, honey. And if it dries out, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So make sure that you've got enough bleach in your hair. It's a nice, it's saturated. When you run your hair, when you run your hands through a section, you can come off with bleach. You must come off with bleach, you know, saturate the hair, saturate. Okay. And that's, that's, that's about it. That's about it from my side. Um, I will put the products I used, like I'll put them in the description below. Um, I did, because Sara and bleaching and like all these things, they don't really have that much bleach or whatever. I don't know why. But there is a company, it's called Eye Color International. And they do, they do have like nice colors. That's, that's where I got my color from, not necessarily the bleach. I got my bleach from, from Spa, a company called um, Vida. I don't know if it's available everywhere, but it was very available in the Eastern Cape. I mean, in East London, because it is an East London company. So I think tomorrow. Um, sorry. I got, so, oh, I care i color i care i color international you can go on their website and i think you can order directly from them but it's also available at clicks that's the only other place that's the only place that i got hair color like on you like these types of hair color on you Regina, no man man no gani uh gani neutral neutral and yeah they don't really have like these out there colors um so i will put links down below and maybe you can just i'll link the the i color international website below and you can just go and look um and just do what needs to be done guys we got not revolution uh, not a revolution we we'll renew I remember in second year, um, I dyed my hair a lot in second year, bleached it so many times. Nakua, 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 nakua. Um, I did that and renew fucked up my hair. So for me, because it was my experience, I don't know how other people feel about it. Um, you know, like for me, it wasn't like, it's not my go-to. Maybe you can use the bleach that comes in the packet, but also just look at what the, the volume of developer, because what if it's a 40 volume and your hair's like, ah, ah, sunny, 40 volume, so um, that's, so just make sure that you do your research, that I think that's the takeaway. And let my parting words be, take care of your hair once you've bleached it. Bleaching dries out your hair, guys. Especially like if without diameters are cool and when they fade or can you like your hair is short or whatever, you know, it's fine. But if you're gonna bleach and color your hair and you have a lot of hair, take care of your hair. Your hair will become very, very brittle and will break off if you don't take care of it. Bleach sucks the moisture out like this. Okay, it goes, it sucks the moisture out. So make sure that you're moisturizing, you're deep conditioning. Do those things. Like your hair care 
if you even I hair care regime, make sure that that's what you're doing that even after you bleach your hair because honey, Nella's are cold. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. I'm sorry to all my viewers that don't understand, but guys, that means like this fall off. I mean, you know what? You can't really translate also, but like fall off basically, D diminish, diminish, uh, diminish, <laughs> or something. I heard, I heard. Um, oh, in the you are chopping, but I'm mean, chopping, chopped off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um and yeah so guys let me know if this was helpful um if there's anything like if you have any questions let me know and if i can answer them i will but i will direct you to like websites that i used because i did a lot of research because i was like oh bitch now my hair is gonna fall out i was very scared but it didn't so um yeah and also previously when i bleached my hair my hair was never this long. My hair was very short, faded, and yeah. So I hope this was VV helpful, and um, I hope you enjoy, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And notification bell. Love you, honeys. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.